hi everyone hope all of you are doing good so today's video is based on another mammal the largest primates the gorillas oh wait a second please while talking about them we are having a lot of misconceptions about them like this what? So now let's go through some realities. Gorillas are our closest relatives in the sense we shared common ancestry with them just 11 million years before. Under the new classification, the gorillas are divided into two species as eastern and western gorilla. It is thought that the two species diverged from one another about 2 million years ago and both have two subspecies. All of them are situated at the equatorial Africa. Gorillas live in family groups of usually 5 to 10 but sometimes more than 50, led by a dominant adult male or silverback who hold his position for years. The bond between the silverback and his females forms the basis of the gorilla's social life. The silverback is the alpha of the gorilla troop. A silverback could grow up to 220 kilograms and can bench press a weight of 2000 kilograms if trained. And this makes the silverback the fourth strongest animal with the capacity to lift up to 9 times its own body weight. While the world record set in bench press is 2.6 times the body weight of the lifter. But surprisingly these titanic animals avoid unwanted confrontations but in case of zoo animals they often show traumatic behaviors due to loneliness. But the main fight for dominance could be critical which occurs rarely. When male gorillas get older their hair turns white on their back. But foreseeing heavy injury intruding is a rare occasion among the gorilla society. Wild gorillas are very peaceful animals unlike the primates we see under captivity. But we don't accept it anymore. Wild gorilla attacks were recorded only few times and all those were under the fear of being harmed. Gorillas have good eyesight which is used for identifying food and to detect movement. As daytime herbivores, they probably have color vision, a useful adaptation for finding ripening foods in treetops. Unlike monkeys, gorillas tend to rely more on vision than smell. Gorillas have a good sense of smell and are able to detect strong odors in the environment such as human sweat or the musk of an unknown gorilla. Males use a female's odor to determine her reproductive status. But the commercial trade in bushmeat, which occurs throughout West and Central Africa, is today the biggest threat to gorillas. Apes are being killed primarily to supply high demanded meat in urban centers where the conception of ape meat is considered to be prestigious among the wealthy elite. Mountain gorillas are the only great ape in the wild whose numbers are increasing. If we still continue the same, the coming generation can't see these animals alive. Wild gorillas are difficult to study because they are shy and have secretive inhabitants of densely vegetated tropical forests. Gorillas make nests to sleep and the younger individuals make day nests to play similar to human kids. Gorillas stick to mainly a vegetarian diet feeding on stems, bamboos, shoots and fruits. Western lowland gorillas however also have an appetite for termites and ants and break open termite nests to eat the larvae. Females reach sexual maturity at 7 to 8 years of age but normally will not breed until several years later. Males reach sexual maturity about 11 to 13 years but normally do not father offspring until they reach silverback status and have a family group of their own. About 15 to 20 years of age is required for that. The gorillas are having a pregnancy duration of 8 and a half months and the infants are in almost constant contact with their mothers for the first 6 months and nurse for about 2.5 to 3 years. The life expectancy of a gorilla is 35 to 40 years. So thank you for viewing this video and if you like it please leave down a thumbs up and by subscribing to this channel you are joining me in this fight against animal cruelties. And um, leave down your suggestions down in the comment box and let me know how I can improve my uh, social media influencing. Um, so and also you can join me in the given links on Instagram and Facebook. So it's Bhagat Narendra signing off. Soon we'll meet with another video. Thank you.